Hey, Rubskin here, and today we're talking about Star Trek Discovery, which just premiered last night on CBS and CBS's streaming service, right? And we're going to compare that to The Orville, which is uh, Seth MacFarlane's parody of Star Trek. Um, it would actually manage to do Star Trek pretty well. It manages to capture the look and feel of fucking Star Trek pretty well. But uh, which one's better, right? I just tuned in to the Star Trek show last night, Star Trek Discovery, watched it on TV, because it premiered on CBS, right? At least the first one did. The rest of the shows are going to be exclusive on CBS's fucking streaming service, which I really don't plan on fucking signing up for that, just for fucking Star Trek, no. But uh, the Orville is also on Fox, so you can just turn on your TV and tune into that if you want to. So, so which one's better, Star Trek Discovery? Or the Orville? Well, I actually prefer the Orville. I mean, I'm not really happy about saying that, you know? Because I'm not a big fan of Seth MacFarlane. Don't really think he's that funny. Not a big fan of the family guy and shit like that, you know? And I'm particularly pissed about that fucking Ted thing. Fuck you, the fucking Ted thing ripping me off, you fucking motherfucker. But I gotta admit, his Orville show does Star Trek right, you know? It really captures the spirit of Star Trek, specifically the Star Trek The Next Generation, you know. I mean, it really does have that feel, and while it is a comedy series, it's not overly funny. You know, it doesn't have cutaway jokes like on Family Guy. It doesn't bring up random pop culture references and just gross out humans. No, no, no. It's pretty much a straight Star Trek show with a little bit of comedy thrown in, with a little bit of humor, you know, a little bit of lightness, a little bit of levity in the fucking ultra-serious, you know, techno babble thing that Star Trek is. A little light comedy works, you know? On the other side, though, Star Trek Discovery, which I just watched last night, only saw one episode, it really didn't capture my attention, you know? I didn't find the characters very likable. Uh, I, I, I didn't like the darker tone in, in, in incorporating more politics into it, you know? Uh, and the Klingons, man. What the fuck did they do to the Klingons? They, they made them completely fucking different, you know? Now, now they're all bald. They got, like, uh, wow, the, the bumps on the head is just like fucking crazy. What, what's with the outfits and stuff? I mean, not only do they not look like Klingons anymore, but they don't act like Klingons anymore, you know? Old Klingons were like Vikings, you know? They, 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 the best death for a Klingon is to die in battle, right? Just like fucking Vikings and shit. But these new Klingons, they, they're not like that at all. I don't know what the fuck is with these Klingons. I mean, I mean, why not just invent a whole new fucking alien race that looks like this, rather than saying that these guys are Klingons? Well, this could be a whole new race of things called the Jugabooga Dooga or something, you know? Who cares? Just, just invent a new alien race. In fact, that's what they did with Orville. There's a whole bunch of new alien species, right? Like this guy, who, uh, well, actually, in his entire race, is all male. They're all male, and they lay eggs. <laughs> You know the weird things, like he only pisses once a year. Mocklins urinate only once per year. Really? That's, I mean, I'm, I'm up two, three times a night. <laughs> that is unfortunate. It is. <laughs> yeah, but it's all for the sake of comedy. And it, it, it works, it really does. You know, I actually think The Oval's a pretty good show. And I play it on watching more of it. But Star Trek Discovery, eh, not so much. And I really don't plan on watching more of it, because you got to sign up for CBS's streaming service in order to do that. That's a bad idea. I mean, it should just be on CBS, on TV, so everybody can fucking watch it, you know? Uh, that's what they're doing with the Orville. It's on Fox. Yeah, you can just t turn on your fucking TV and watch the Orville, right? <coughs> you probably watch it online, too, but you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. It's already a huge success. The Orville is a big, huge rating success. It's like 18 million people tuned into it or something. I don't even know. But uh, I fully expect the Star Trek Discovery to mostly piss off their core fans and not really attract new people either. You know? But, yeah. Hey. <laughs> that is what I'm saying. The Orville is actually better than Star Trek. And I'm not happy about saying that. I'm not happy about that at all. You know, I'm a fan of Star Trek. I would like to see the real Star Trek show be actually good. But I, 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 I just didn't care. I, I just really wasn't invested. I didn't like the characters. They weren't very likable. The storyline was like, eh. And, yeah, the Orville is better. The parody is actually better than the original. You know, 
this is kind of like a, a Galaxy Quest. You guys remember Galaxy Quest with Tim Allen and Sigourney Weaver? That movie that was a parody of Star Trek is actually better than a lot of the more recent Star Trek movies. For real. It, it captures the feel, the spirit of Star Trek. And the movie Galaxy Quest also incorporated the fandom into it, too, you know? Because they weren't just guys on a spaceship. They were actors playing guys on a spaceship, right? And they were actual fans. They actually attended a Star Trek convention. So, yeah, yeah, I, I'm basically saying that the Orville's better. And it's not good news. I really wish that the new Star Trek series was worth watching. But, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it'll get better. You know, the pilot wasn't that great. Maybe the other episodes will be better. I don't know, what do you guys fucking think? Write me a comment down below. Tell me what you fucking think. Tell me if I'm wrong, you know? Well, you're way off, Teddy. No, you just don't get it. Star Trek Discovery Series is fucking brilliant. You know, explain it to me. Make me understand. <laughs> anyway, till fucking next time, keep it fucking real. Sorry, man, you okay? Yeah, it's all good, man. You okay? Yeah, all good. Sorry. All right.